Hi, my name is Saris Fredriksen. Here I want to show you how you can use PowerLine, these devices, to as uh, sending internet through your electrical system in the house instead of maybe drawing your own internet cables. So drawing your own internet cables will be absolutely the best that I recommend you to do. Uh, because it's the best option, uh, it's the most stable, the fastest uh, speed and everything. But sometimes you cannot, you do, or maybe do not want to put cables throughout all of your house. Maybe you don't own the apartment, etc. And then PowerLine is a very good substitute, uh, alternative, I would say. So here I want to show you uh, how you can use them. And very easy. You have to have at least two of these. Okay, so what you do is just you put one into the electrical socket one place and you put another one into an electrical socket another place and as you as long as you have internet into the first one you will have internet to the other one. That's as simple as it is, through the electrical system, electrical cords in your house. So what you basically do <coughs> is that you have internet into your house first of all and maybe you have a router like this one okay and then you have an electrical socket now sorry you have an internet cable so here is my internet cable and then I put this into the socket for RJ45 it's called the on the on the power line and then I plug this into the wall basically into the electrical system Normally it's said that this is, works best when you put it directly into the wall, not through an extension cord like this. But I found out that this Devalu brand works fine also for me, in, even through the, uh, the extension cord. So it doesn't really matter, uh, just make sure it works. So now basically you have internet going through the cable into this unit. Okay. And what you then do is that you take the other unit, okay, and you go walk over to the other room in the house as long as the same electrical system it should work and then you take plug this into another socket in the house so let's presume i've been walking around finding my living room here i plug this unit in and i have another cable which i plug in okay into here and and then i plug whatever unit i need to make internet too. So if I have a laptop like this, okay, I just plug it in. All right, just plug it into the internet connection point. And there we go, then I have internet. So that that's as simple as it is. And if there is more people in the house, maybe you have a daughter who wants to have internet, then you, you buy one more unit of the same, same one as the first ones. And you, they get their own and they put it into their socket, uh, maybe the electrical cord somewhere. And for example, your daughter has a mobile phone, an iPhone. And then you found a solution, which I saw in another video, how you can cable an iPhone and you get internet access through cable. And then what you do, you just do exactly the same as I just showed you. You just take this unit, plug it in, into the socket, wherever you are. Let's see, now using the same cable over and over again, so... Um, and then you just plug it into the unit. Okay, and here we go. Then you have internet connection directly into your iPhone. Or whatever brand you have, Samsung or whatever you use. That's as simple it is to use PowerLine through as a cable wired internet into your house. So what you need to remember if you do use this to avoid radiation is that you have to remember to turn off the devices that sense wireless uh, radiation, like this iPhone. Now I have to go into the setting and turn off Wi-Fi. If not, well, it's no big, then you still have this unit sending and uh, searching for internet connections through Wi-Fi. So turn it on flight mode, or at least turn off everything you don't need. At Wi-Fi you don't need because this is instead of Wi-Fi. Maybe turn off the phone, maybe turn off the Bluetooth and everything else. Flight mode normally turns them all off. 
And the same with your laptop. Where did I put it? Here it is. Here it is. Turn, turn on flight mode or turn off Wi-Fi so it doesn't radiate you when you're sitting working with it. And of course, lastly, the router which I cabled in the first place, you know, this, even though I put it in here, and if it still has Wi-Fi in it, it still radiates Wi-Fi all the time, even though I have cabled it. So it, it doesn't automatically turn off the Wi-Fi. So what you have to remember is to turn off the Wi-Fi on the router. So that what you do then to, to just to push the physical button, if it do have, if it does have a physical button like this, and make sure the little lamp turns off, like Wi-Fi or red wireless or VLAN, W-L-A-N, turn it off, or maybe turn into red or whatever, uh, so to show it's, it's off. Uh, if it doesn't have a physical button like this, or on the back or on the front, it, you might need to go into the software on the router, uh, just ask your telecompany, which gives you the internet, how do I turn off the wireless on my router, the VLAN or Wi-Fi, okay? And they will show you an instruction for how you do it. Normally, you go into your browser, your internet browser like Chrome, and you just type in a code like 190.1.01 or something like that, which makes you access this router as long as it's connected to the internet uh, through a cable there. And then you just unmark, you unmark the Wi-Fi, okay? You have to unmark the Wi-Fi or the VLAN or the wireless, whatever it's named there. And then make sure this lamp turns off and maybe check on your computer that your uh, wireless is off. So that is just some something to remember if you're using power line or cable internet to avoid radiation. But remember to turn it, those devices off. So to sum up, it's a very brilliant little solutions. Okay, this power line. The minus I have heard is that this, as long as this sends through the electrical system, it will create normally some kind of dirty electricity and dirty electricity is another frequency being sent through the electrical system in your house and if you unless you're really sensitive you're probably not going to notice this because you already have the dirty electricity in your house it comes from the lead uh, lamps uh, lamp sockets whatever you call it <laughs> and uh, other uh, electrical devices already create uh, a lot of dirty electricity in your house. Of course, it's best to have less, but this is much, much, much better option than having like a Wi-Fi router sending all the time and sitting in the or in your lap or in your hand with devices that sends and receives all the time. So to sum up, this is a very good alternative to cabled solution. So I really recommend that if you are not able to or don't want to somehow use cable solution for your whole house. So I hope this was helpful and um, yeah, good luck.